Hello folks and welcome to some absolutely beautiful power electronics that I just had to share with you today. Uh, what we're looking at here is basically the power stage of a Siemens Alpha 2 um, inverter. Uh, this particular specimen uh, is one of a batch uh, that I got pretty much um, at an insanely uh, good deal on. Uh, I actually didn't think they were Alpha 2s but they, uh, they are. Uh, what we've got here is, um, you have to say, some of the most beautiful power electronics that I've ever seen. Uh, we've got four Infineon FF450R 12ME4 IGBT modules, uh, complete with gate drive. Uh, we've got some huge LEM current sensors in there, uh, the type that you see on their website that they recommend for rail traction. Um, absolutely shiny laminated copper bus bars, uh, the size of the bus bars feeding the DC in on the DC link is insane. Um, if we rotate around here, let you see the front. This is where the DC connects. We've not three but four phases output. And in, indeed there's four half bridge modules in there. I'm not sure why. Normally uh, to drive a, a motor we would have three, but we have four. Um it's this big aluminium liquid cooled heatsink and yeah it's uh, it's going to be definitely a bit of a reverse engineering challenge for us um, the IGBT modules themselves have got a little PCB mounted and then there's these little ribbon cables going back to the main driver board here the top of the main driver board you will see there's a DC bus voltage monitoring uh, circuit of some sort. Here is where there's a ribbon cable that connects the, the IGBT drive board to the logic board and this is where the current sensors uh, connect to the logic board. Now our plan for this particular uh, inverter is to design a Hubner based logic board for it uh, that will basically let us have control. We then have control of a 1200 volt 450 amp inverter uh, that I actually have a few of these so hopefully we'll be able to offer them um, as a unit uh, to people that are looking for a complete inverter system uh, because that's actually seems to be one of the biggest questions that I'm getting asked is can I you know supply a complete tested in, in, for inverter and up, up until now I just didn't have any one particular inverter uh, that I could you know make a few of them so now we have um, I have to say like, uh, I'm just blown away by the quality of this um, so let, let's go in and have a little bit of a closer look and then I'll show you the logic board so I'm for some Blair Witch camera work um, so in there we'll see the Infineon um, IGBTs the driver board and the 
kind of links in here going to the main driver board. Uh, DC bus bars are probably something between four and five millimeters thick. Uh, they're super big. Um, these there's a big bank of capacitors here, uh, also connected uh, to this laminated bus bar. And as you saw here, there's some insanely big terminals and four phases for some re reason. Um, I found this little wiring um, tag that says uh, date the 2nd of the 11th 15 so it's fairly modern compared to some of the junk that I end up getting from 10 plus years ago uh, so that's this is the power stage guys so let's go have a look at the logic board Alrighty, so welcome to the lid, which is also cast aluminium. And in here is our logic board. This is where the IGBT driver attaches. And that's where the current sensors attach. Uh, one thing I did see in the middle there is a Xilinx uh, Spartan FPGA. Uh, so what we're going to do is go ahead and get this board out so we can have a closer look. Um, it interfaces to the outside world via some weird type of connector here. Uh, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get a plug that will fit that or something. Might just end up having to use uh, something a bit more normal. There's another one on the back which has a cover over that there. So let's go ahead and pull this thing out of here. Hey, so welcome to the logic board and it's it's big uh, this guy is going to be quite a challenge to figure out now the good news is we, we only need to figure out about 1% of it and that being the part that relates to the IGBT drivers and the current sensors uh, there's some serious processing horsepower here I say there's a Spartan 6, or is it a, is it a Spartan 6? Uh, it's a Spartan XCS 20, I'm not sure what that is. Um, there's some RAM up there, I'm guessing, for that. Um, another kind of a thing under a heatsink here. And then a lot of other stuff. Um, so we're going to need to figure out how to control that power stage. Now one thing you do notice is that uh, it's a single sided surface mount card. Um, now no doubt multi layer but all of our components are on one side so that's really good design for manufacture stuff. Um, but other than that uh, this is you know this is what we're going to be doing pretty soon is going to be hopefully designing a re replacement for this. These connectors I'm not sure if we're going to reuse or whatever. might end up just going with an amp seal because there's actually Alpha 2 part numbers on here and I suspect they might be custom. Uh, so not really interested in trying to fight with that. Uh, Trying to get parts but we'll see we could always take them off and so on possibly but yeah this is the logic board um, and this is the power stage so we're going to be uh, we're going to be getting into this all right i'm going to leave you guys at that just for this little episode and uh, we will see you in the next fun packed video uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and um, check links in the description for GitHub for my designs, Patreon and PayPal uh, in case you wish to financially support any of this craziness. Other than that, try not to do anything too stupid and um, happy high voltage inverter reverse engineering.